No, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really. It, this is that funny. I don't want to do this. It's, it is funny. And if you give it a chance, it, it's really funny. So if you do this, if you do this skit, then you won't have to do our late night skit. And the late night skit I wrote is when we get onto a late night show, like if we get on Jimmy Kimmel or Conan or something, what I would propose to do is I'd go out separately. I'd just go out by myself, and then I'd be nervous, obviously. And so Conan or whoever it is would be like, oh, you're nervous. And I would say, okay, well, can I have my support uh, animal with me? And so that's whenever I'd go back, and you'd be back there, and you'd have like a dog chain and like a leash on you. And then when I come back on stage, you can kind of walk out like a dog and bark. And, bark, bark. and then you'll sit next to me nobody, and I'll pet you during the interview. Nobody wants to see. I don't want to do that. I'll tell you what, if you wear this hat and you do the skit, you won't have to do that one in the future. Oh. All right. Yeah, I think that's good. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Watch your hands, okay? You're my bouncing baby brother. I'm his bouncing baby brother. And I love you like no other. I'm his bouncing baby brother. You're my bouncing baby brother. And I love you like no other. You're my bouncing baby brother. I'm his bouncing baby brother. Baby bouncing brother. I'm a baby bouncing brother. I'm his bouncing baby brother. I'm a baby bouncing brother. You're my baby bouncing brother. I'm a baby bouncing brother. You're my bouncing baby brother. And I love you like no other. I'm his bouncing baby brother. And I love you like no other baby bouncing brother. My bouncing baby son-in-law. I'm his bouncing baby brother.